So Mark Rand has won the Dali July Cup on board Starman. Your third domestic Group 1 success. Many congratulations. This one must feel particularly special, I reckon, because you've helped form this horse and make him what he is. Yeah, I was actually... Um, I, I, I sort of spoke to a couple of people about it. It's a bit bizarre. Like, all my all my Group 1 winners so far, I've sort of jumped in either um, just on, on the right day or uh, sort of obviously a day... Um, in sort of mid stages of his career, and this is the first horse that, uh, ever since I got off him at Lingfield and, and said to Ed, I think he's, you know, I think he's proper. It's not, um, you know, you don't you don't get that feeling, and it actually backs up into a Group One very often, uh, especially not at this stage of my career. So, um, look, it, it's brilliant to be a part of that and to have uh, sort of known, known the whole way through that this might come to fruition as such. But um, yeah, look, he's turned into an exceptional horse and I'm um, just so delighted for Dave and Sue Ward. They've yeah. they've been brilliant over the last couple of years. You know, obviously I can't um, always always commit and things like that, but they know um, they know I'm always always wanting to be aboard and, and uh, they're, they're, they're just avid supporters of racing and, and they love racing. So it makes life extremely easy when you've got people like that behind you. And it's great for, to have an owner breeder winning the group, group one. We've had two, haven't we? The two yeah. major group one prizes here this week. I think it's really important for the industry. It is, exactly. It, it gives people um, that sort of bit of uh, motivation, inspiration, hope as such that it can be done. Um, and, yeah, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a tough game when, when money can buy quite a lot of success, but it just shows that it's not always money that prevails. Yes, I mean, it's not a cool more, it's not a Godolphin, it's not a Shadwell, it's not yeah. a Jedmond. We've actually had smaller scale operations, and particularly Dave and Sue. I mean, they've yeah. had tremendous success. Yeah, they have. Look, they do an exceptional job. Um, you know, every, look, every, um, every category has its place within racing. You know, we, 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 we need the big teams, Absolutely. but it is just wonderful when it comes off... Uh, uh, people that are doing it on a smaller scale, you know, but um, you know their love of racing is clear, and um, you know whether you know they turn up at Chelmsford when it's raining. Uh, do you know what I mean? Those are the kind of people that they are, which is great. Absolutely fantastic. I'm learning about them. I'm also learning quite a bit about Ed Walker today. I didn't realise quite what a pessimist he is. So, <laughs> <laughs> first of all, he thought it was all over in the parade ring with the way that Simon yeah. was behaving, and then obviously halfway through the race, he also thought it was all over. What was your perspective? Yeah, I mean, look, uh, when I when I read Ed's comments earlier in the week that uh, that he could be the sprint of his generation I thought well oh, that's quite Put it's quite you. bold for Ed for Ed to be you know um and the closer he got to the race the more uh, the more pessimistic he got but, but you can't help but nerves nerves do get the better of you on days like today if um you know I'm lucky I go out jump on him for two minutes try and do my job and and that's as far as I get but Ed Ed has to sort of you know nurture nurture the horse at home try and get everything right place him in the right you know there's so much to it and um look I wasn't I wasn't delighted uh, when he had his mind on other things, but because I've had a bit to do with him, I know that can just be him. And he, you know, he doesn't. He, he, he's got no sort of malicious side to him. He just gets a bit playful and gets a bit distracted. But um, look, obviously uh, today it didn't matter too much in the end. And how about during the course of the race? There was a point where I thought you were cooked. Did, did you? Yeah, I, I, look, I thought I was in a bit of trouble. I didn't quite manage to get on, onto the back of the horse that I wanted to. Um, but I said to Ed, "Well, I'll." It, we didn't really. We decided not to do instructions today because um, he rang me up this morning and said, "Oh, you know, uh, what should we do?" And I just said, "Well, we'll leave it, and you know, we'll do what we'll do." And, and it was probably a blessing that we did because um, just had to pick my way through a couple of gaps when he was being done for toe going down into the dip, and uh, look, when he hit the rising ground, it was it was game over for everyone else. But um, it, he, he had to do a good bit to get to that point in touch with the leaders. Mm. Imagine what he might be like if he behaves himself completely and everything goes right in the race. Yeah, I mean, look, it's actually, it's, it's probably pretty scary to think, really, the fact that he's, uh, he's six runs in, showing signs of uh, plenty of immatureness, and, um, and he's still very, he's still very laddie. You know, you can tell he's not turned into one of those hardened sprinters yet, and when he does, I mean, you know, who, who knows how good he'll be, because there's certainly more improvement to come. You and I were talking beforehand that we felt it was the sort of deepest, you know, really good renewal of the July Cup. Did it ride like that? Yeah, I mean, it, they're, they're all proven top class sprinters in there and it was a field um, that was was worthy of being one of the sort of, one of the best group one sprints that you can possibly find. So, um, look, for, for him to have come out on top, it's, it's, a, it's a big plus for his career moving forward and um, a big box ticked. Yeah, he's the best sprinter <laughs> in Europe. Isn't yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. You have to say it. It's not. A, it's not even a bold statement. It is, it is what it is now, and he's. Um, you know, that's what he is. 
And how pleased are you to ride this victory for Ed as well? Because yeah. Ed was just mentioning that he did the dirty on you in the dark. Oh. <laughs> that you and he have built up this, you know, great relationship yeah. with each other. No, look, I mean, uh, look, last year was what it was. I knew, I knew, uh, and and was was fully understanding of the predicament that they were in. You know. Um, I wasn't a group. Well, I, 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 yeah, I wasn't a group one jockey at the time. I, I know I just won two down in Australia, but I hadn't hadn't had enormous opportunities back here to really get my foot uh, in the top tier top tier races. Really, um, and it was probably a no-brainer decision. <laughs> you know, Frank Littori or someone that's only ridden a couple of group ones. So um, look, that was what it was. But I, I, I really enjoy riding Fred. He, he's got a fantastic team at home, and um, look, we get on great as well. And uh, like today. It, it's it's fantastic when you click with someone that you know you can ring me up and go oh I want to give you instructions and you can have the confidence to turn around and just say don't we'll I'll sort it out because you know it's 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 tough to build those kind of relationships in within competitive sport because so much can go wrong um, but look yeah fantastic for Ed and everyone because so much goes into this I think you've given an insight I mean it is you you've had so much success in Australia. This is your third domestic group one. You're making that point about English King and where you were in your career at that, at that stage. We're, we're funny in Britain, don't we? We're, kind of, we're focusing so much on what happens here. It's actually really important for you that these yeah. group ones keep now coming and more of them and more quickly. Yeah, without shadow of a doubt. I mean, look, you can, you can have a group one... Uh, sorry, you can have a champion jockey in England and if they haven't won a group one that season, it's sort of almost like a, a shame point, um, which is... You know, I guess it is what it is. Everyone needs winners at the highest level, but uh, they're very hard to come by. And um, look, I'm extremely fortunate to be in the position now. I'm starting to pick up a few, and uh, looking like I've got some more exciting horses to to try and get a few more on the card. So, um, look, British racing is extremely competitive from whatever angle you look at it, from owners, jockeys, trainers. It's it's top tier racing, and it's what matters. Is. Brilliant to talk to you, Tom. Many, many congratulations. Thanks, I'm sure everyone's really Thanks, delighted for you. A superb winner of the July Cup. Well Thank done. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank lady. You. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.